Hi, my name is Jill Smith. I'm a senior from Gothenburg High School. She doesn't even go here. And this is my poem entitled, I Can't Explain to My Mother Why the Mouthwash Bottle is Empty. This is something I swore I wouldn't write about because there's no other way to put it without a 14 plus label and I don't want to put it any other way. The only reason I wrote this anyway is because my counselor told me that writing could be beneficial and I hope it is, but for someone else who doesn't know how to write their own stories yet. I know my poem won't become my number one bestseller because everybody, including myself, didn't want me to write about what it was like the first night I ever thought it was okay to puke up my food because who wants to hear another sob story about a girl who tried to contact a crisis hotline when her phone died and was left in dark silence. I don't want to personify my hands and say they were shaking like a scared child whose biggest fear was right before them because I was that scared child and no sort of description could show what made those shaky hands and wobbling feet move off the bed and slither towards the toilet. I know there's symbolism somewhere about the fact that one end of my toothbrush makes me puke and the other cleans it up, but the vomit reminds me it's not supposed to be pretty. That's why the first four times I did it, I closed my eyes and flushed the toilet. The first three times I wrote this, I deleted it. I'm still not used to it. When I tear myself off the bathroom, uh, the bathroom ground and feel tears coming off my cheeks, I will remind myself that I am not crying because of this angsty, poetic story. I'm crying because I'm gagging. They don't write about us right. Our stories are too explicit for them to hit the bookshelves, so we'll make this easier for everyone else. I'll use a metaphor. I am thrift trash, a book with folded edges and a broken spine. I have stains from last night's dinner on my shirt. Scratch that. I have stains from last night's dinner on my pages. But if you decide to lounge into bed with me, with me in between your palms, your search for a climax will be pointless because I'm too scared to kill myself and everybody else is too scared to write it. I'm an author who doesn't like writing endings because they're too easy and nobody likes a story that they can predict. I don't want to be some quirky, relatable character because this shouldn't be. Puking up your food isn't a character trait. The only time they write decently about us is when we're the secondary characters who change the life of the main ones. Like, please stop puking, don't you know how hard this is for me? As if dry heaving is the easiest thing I've ever done. But after countless hours of downplaying the abuse I put myself through, how will I explain that the eating disorder is not the antagonist? For someone who deals with this, I will always be blinded by the idea that the villain is still me, but fatter.